that's it right there the tarp the other light fire chair and all that right there that's what I'm on so and as you can see the you can see the blue uh, rope dangling down so and also the one in the very back corner back there to the right also those are like the rope rollers so I thought that was pretty impressive welcome back here to the outdoor camping gear review network this is your host Rob I wanted to demonstrate this product right here it's the new one tigress I believe you would call it the Sopranos cot. It's actually not as long as the other one was, so um, I haven't opened it up or nothing like that. So the the one before this one actually has uh, four sets of legs. This one only has three sets of legs. I wanted to get the other one, but it was out of stock all the time. And um, I basically... Uh, like the One Tigress products, um, they're pretty good um, per se. And uh, this one holds up just like the other one up to 350 pounds. So without all due, um, the the bag's weight and, and everything in it is about, I want to say it's about uh, 10 pounds roughly. But it, but it feels a little heavier. <laughs> But we'll get to it. So. We got these little legs here. They got uh, some Velcro on them. And they just pop into place like that. So. And. They have a little bungee inside. So. That makes it even better. And. That's how you unlock lock it all out so that's one two and three we can go ahead and get those going you want to make sure they're all going the same way so later on when you put the legs in and stuff it'll all come and work for you like that one would be wrong so just spin it around and it's locked it's locked in and uh just like it said it does have a little bag underneath of it uh, the poles can't come out of the ends so there's only one way to set the poles up and uh, that's through this end where you got like a little pull tab in here, I guess. Yep, that's uh, where the pulls would go. And it gives you a little side pocket. So after you figure out, like that would be the bottom of it. So you lay it down like that. But for right now, we need to lay the part that you're going to be on upside down and it does have directions they are uh here it is it is called the sopranibus cot sopranibus cot i was thinking something else but anyways um all of them has got uh wow that one just fit right in there so it just pops right in place. Check that out. That's uh, pretty nifty. So that's one. Like I said, this is the first time setting this up. Uh, and these are the... Um, these are going to be the leg extensions. I believe it sits probably about, I want to say after you hook everything up, it sits about maybe four inches, five inches off the ground, possibly even six. I, most, most of them go about like anywhere from four to six inches off of the ground. Uh, this one seems pretty easy to put in and after you get it running. 
and you just hold that but you want to make sure you're going into here to each one so that's what what you have to come down and that's the only thing there because those bars got to snap into those and pull that back for a minute Some people get a little easier than others. There we go. The first one. I saw a, a driving in here. I saw um, I saw a deer come out on the road, and then I saw a big black bear come right in after it. But 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 when they both heard me, they split off their own way so I think the bear was hunting the deer down and uh, it's about that time even out here that they want to get fattened up so uh, find that hole right there and this one's a little bit different it's like it's So it would be nice if this could work with it a little bit. I'll end up speeding this part up a little bit because uh, this is the main part that takes the longest, I do believe. And then again, I might not, you know. Because y'all want to see how a new product works and stuff. And so, this is it. Uh, it would be nice if they had something like some type of Velcro that would go over the ends down here to hold all that. So now after you get that the way you want it. Uh, the other ones, they were saying is that when you push this in to make it tighter uh, it was a little bit harder so you would stretch that out and let's see how easy this is because it looks pretty uh there you go. And you still gotta push down a little bit, but it locks in, so that's not too bad. But it's making that uh, pounding one. You probably want to keep all the locks on the same side. And wow, I'm starting to sweat. It's so hot out here right now. Nope. There we go. I was trying to do something stupid. All right, so after you get the first one on, it's a little easier for each one. So keep that in mind. And it's going to be dark here momentarily. I got to hurry because I got to set up the other, I got to set up the tent. And I think the ends. Mm. Wow. There you go. You just want to watch your uh, fingers on those. So... The height is low. Let me turn it to the side. It says uh, the one tigress camping on this one. But that's it right there. So my judgment, that's about 
probably about maybe five inches off of the ground, possibly six. So we'll put the legs on. The legs have these little uh, push buttons right here that you have to push in. The other ones didn't. They just went in, they said. And uh, I'll start back down here. Let me grab another one. There'd be, uh, there's four in each one. So there is a hole inside so that little thing will go in. And then you still got to push it in there. So... So it locks. And then whenever you hear that little, uh, yeah, like whenever you hear the click, it'll be good then. That way you know it's in there. Get four more. Listen for the click. Push it in there and just turn it around. There you go. That clicked. Now it was supposed to, wow. I'll have to take this jacket off soon, I guess. It's supposed to rain out here but I don't know if it is or not uh, it was sprinkling at times when I rode in here so it's a possibility and uh, so now we got that now we can flip that over flip it there so you can see all the locks are down they're all tight now that's about 16 inches and uh, just to lay down on it they said it's a little bouncy if we had watched the other ones you know on on the youtube but i'm 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 five foot six so i still got head up here and and i probably got about an inch down there so this is probably about six foot uh let's see yeah like this is probably about six foot two something like that to that area long uh just by guessing for the width, I want to say right at 30 inches. So that's not bad. And uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, it was only 90 bucks. Uh, so I want to put it probably, I was thinking, like right here and here and to this tree here. And I could put a tarp over it. So... That's yeah, what I'm going to do just next. just wanted to show the breakdown of this uh, so that you know how easy it is. Uh, I'm going to walk through the features here for a minute and do it from the other side. Is that you still got your bags and i got a water bottle there. I'll have to... You, you actually can access from both sides for that. So that they're going to pick it up here in a minute. Uh, the thing is what they were talking about got hot, is when you're taking this apart um, you can probably do this in two different ways you can either take these off now or you can take the whole bar off yourself oh like all at one time so either way I mean me personally I'll probably end up uh, just taking the bar off uh, and that's just that and it should just come off you can set them down like that that's probably the easiest way to go and that'll pick down just like that and this is the first time for me doing this and that way you got that just like that and then you can run the pull right out you can actually lay it on that And you can do that just just like that also uh, this here looks like it just folded in half from the lines I didn't really pay too much attention to when I pulled it out so that's what I'll end up doing 
but you could probably uh, you always want to match the bag you know that's the main thing if you're doing something like that but uh, I think it'd probably go easier if I do it like that put the net in there give a little tug like that try to crease it out a little bit and then I got that I don't think it really matters however you want to roll this up I mean you can roll the legs up inside of it or uh, that would probably be the better bet so load the legs up inside there so now you got to push these buttons in and pop them out and uh, that's that there and then that just pulls down I guess like so and it has a little velcro thing here too so uh, you can get that any which way that you want and you probably don't want it like that you probably want it in like that and uh just wrap it around so that's one leg there down uh take these out you don't have to really wrap the legs up but they just just push the little button right there and it comes right out and then you just do that these don't bend down or anything it's just a hinge right there and that oh the hinge locks in like that so I guess you can lock it in in the place and oh it's just like that okay so that and that just comes around like that so I need to mimic that that's pretty mimicky right there so it's like that and I can slide that down so if I can slide it further down and then got that one there uh, these poles probably it just doesn't really matter I guess it, I don't think it really matters how it all goes in it just goes in and just make sure you ain't got no leaves in there or nothing I'm gonna do that and then the same thing here oh I forgot the legs huh or the feet legs or the feet this is more of a uh, this uh type here you want to do the same thing there lock that in come around on top and I don't think there's nobody showing how to do this anyway so so we got that now you could just basically just pile it all in there I mean it doesn't really matter but you still need to you probably still do that because there is no bags, there are no separate bags for these. They're just piled in. So that's what I'm going to do. And try to kick off the dirt as much as I can. And then roll that up. Best as I can. Put that in there. And then you put these in there. Hopefully they're all going to fit. Tuck them in. And let's see if that one will go in. Uh, 
Maybe this way, I don't know. It goes in there somehow. And it's got two zippers on each side, so that helps you out a little bit. And that's it for the one tigress sopranus caught. Right, I mean the one tigress sopranibus caught. Sorry about that. You know, um, it's faster to actually roll up than it is to uh, go to set it up. Especially your first time. I mean, like taking part was a breeze. So that was that. So this is the, uh, I should say right here. And they never, uh, I'm looking right at the tags. They got little end notes and stuff where you can add on the stuff, but it's the one tigress caught uh, soprano. Oh, yeah, it does. Well, holy moly, right there. It says right there on their product, one tigress camping supranibus caught. Supranibus caught. They actually titled their one only product that they have. So that's that, and uh, we're going to get the uh, other two things up, and uh, we're out of here just about. And then, uh, yeah, this adventure has been at itself, so this was a good night's rest, uh, even with the bigger bag on there. And this is uh, uh, actually worth its money for weight and gold, almost 10 pounds, and I'm like sweating to death. So this is it right here yeah uh, you can't beat it 